Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I was actually taking the day off today. I was, and then I saw a tweet with an article, and I clicked on the article. Silly me. And I feel it's my duty. I feel it's an obligation that I need to carry out to rip the crap out of this hot garbage. Because Star Wars has become... So embarrassing. It really has. I used to I used to love being a Star Wars fan a few years ago. You know, even with the prequels. It's like, okay, it's the prequels, but whatever. But now it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So if you ever get into one of those circumstances where someone's like, you like Star Wars, you've got to preface it. You know, you've got to establish the rules with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, but I'm talking about the original stuff, you know. A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Not not this, <laughs> not this new stuff. <laughs> you know, you've got to try and make sure that they know that, no, 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 you're not associating yourself with this new garbage. This poop hummer. That Disney's been driving around, leaving big trails of shite everywhere. And every time they open their mouth about it, every time they try and explain or fix something, it just makes it worse. It just makes it worse and embarrassing. They run with the title of Star Wars confirms Ray breaks the Skywalker curse bestest ever well she has to be because she wasn't even a skywalker but don't worry breaking the skywalker curse now means that you don't have to be a skywalker you just have to think you're a skywalker let's just go here one of the things that does appear to have been planned however was the key scene at the end of star wars the rise of skywalker in which Ray claims the Skywalker surname. The art of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, includes a transcript, easy for me to say, transcript from a meeting of the Lucasfilm Story Group in 2014, roughly a year and a half prior to release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. I like the idea that she's going to be our Skywalker, Pablo Hidalgo observed in the meeting. But she's not a Skywalker. Then, for our purposes, the Skywalker is really a metaphor. It doesn't have to be something that directly that's directly connected to blood. No, it does. It's just a fucking surname. <sighs> Star Wars isn't a complicated thing. It's actually very simple. Sometimes simple is good. Why? Because you can spend your time developing your characters to go alongside it. But the actual story within Sky Star Wars is very basic. It's good versus evil. It's World War II in space. It's nothing too brain taxing. Every time you try and do something simple, every time you just need to do something simple, and this shite comes out. If you're not having a Skywalk in your film, fine. No problem. The main protagonist didn't have to be a Skywalker, or a Kenobi, or a Palpatine. It could have been a Smith, or a Jones, or a Beekler. Shout out, Gary. That's what it could have been. Star Skywalker isn't a metaphor. It's not a metaphor. It was just the bloody surname of the people, Luke and Leia, and Anakin. Because it was their story. Fucking dipshits. 
So anyway, with that said, Screen Rant jumped two feet into this soy-infested waters. This reinterprets what it means to be a Skywalker. Uh, you can just fuck off already, mate. To be a Skywalker is to be an agent of balance, standing against the rise of the dark side. No, no. It has fascinating implications for the Star Wars mythology as a whole. No, it doesn't. Because it suggests to be a Skywalker is to serve as an essential function in terms of the Force. No. No. It was the surname of Anakin, Shmi, Luke, and Leia. That's all it was. Nothing more. Oh my god. Marvel Comics is currently, uh, has current Star Wars series is set shortly after the events of The Empire Strikes Back. A rejected Darth Vader, shouldn't be dejected? Oh, whatever. Uh, is furious at Luke Skywalker's refusal to join him. And as you'd expect of any Sith, he wants revenge upon his son. He's scouring the galaxy for Luke Skywalker's, but his efforts are hampered by a flurry of Luke Skywalker's impersonators. He kills the latest imposter and instructs everyone in the area to pass on a disturbing message. Skywalkers die, Darth Vader declares. Yeah, because people are pretending to be Luke. They're pretending to uh, gain some of the clout from his destruction of the Death Star. It's not a metaphor. It's not interpreted as a metaphor. He's basically saying, I'll kill every fucking one of them that pretends to be Luke Skywalker until there are no Skywalkers left. It's not metaphorical, it's literal. I hate fandom sometimes. I hate not fandom. Fandom's great. I hate dipshits that run fandoms like Disney. That I ain't got a fucking clue what on earth they're doing or talking about. And then shitty websites like this go balls deep. Let's just be honest. That wouldn't be very far. Trying to run with their shitey ideas. Let's go. Let's go down here because this is, this is where stuff just gets fucking hilarious. Oh. <sighs> But there's a reason Star Wars 9 is called The Rise of Skywalker. They're not actually numbered. It's not actually numbered, but okay. It is because Rey, unlike all her predecessors, is the Skywalker who rises from the dead. She's a Palpatine. Skywalker isn't metaphorical. She's a Palpatine. She does so because of Ben Solo, a Skywalker by blood. Half Skywalker, yeah. Who gives his life to save the one who had become a Skywalker by choice. No, because she hadn't even taken the Skywalker name by then. It's right at the end of the film that she decides to, to, to steal the Skywalker name. Here, I'm going to do something. My name is As Skywalker. Guess what? It makes me uh, no Skywalker whatsoever. I'm as much as a Skywalker as Rey is, which is uh, not one. Not one at all. Oh my god. Viewed from this perspective, you can't view it from that perspective because she wasn't a Skywalker. There is a uh, messianic. <sighs> whatever. Uh, aspect to Ray's story, she got raised from the dead. Lots of people get raised from the dead. Comics characters come back from the dead all the time. Ben Kenobi dies, becomes a Force ghost. Yoda dies, becomes a Force ghost. End of Jedi, Darth Vader dies, becomes a Force ghost. Luke dies because it becomes a for Force ghost due to shocking storytelling. And Solo dies and somehow is in Rise of Skywalker, whatever. 
She is, uh, she is the Skywalker who carries the curse to death and breaks its power when she is resurrected. Here we come, folks. Raylo shite incoming. And notice the symmetry of all of this. She does so because the power of love, a force from, sorry, is greater than the dark side. You mean when, um... Ray fell in love with uh, barely any interaction whatsoever uh, with uh, with Ben Solo, uh, the murderer of billions of people. She was like, "Whoa, what a nice set of abs he's got. Tits ain't bad either. Wouldn't mind a bit of that in me. That's the love story." Love, 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 Jesus Christ. Mate, you ain't got a fucking clue what the word love means. This isn't a love story. This is called a contrived piece of shite written by a hack fraud who didn't plan his story out and had no idea where shit was going. Please. Just let Star Wars die. <laughs> As disgracefully as Disney have defecated all over the history of it. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.